SpaceX is part of almost every space-related venture happening these days. You want to send astronauts to the International Space Station? Use the SpaceX Dragon Crew capsule. You want to send people to Mars to colonize it in the future? SpaceX is developing its Starship rockets that will help future colonizers cover the distance. NASA wants to go back to the moon for its Artemis program? Don't worry, SpaceX will develop a modified version of the Starship to help NASA achieve this. It seems like SpaceX has a hand in everything related to space. And if that weren't enough, SpaceX has also been racking up US government contracts, both for civilian purposes for NASA and for military purposes for both the United States Air Force and the newly formed United States Space Force. It seems like SpaceX is everyone's favorite space venture, and with a track record like theirs, why wouldn't it be? SpaceX has now secured a contract with NASA to launch a new space telescope called SphereX. So let us look at the insane new space telescope that SpaceX will be deploying, and also dive deeper into Elon Musk's own ambitions to develop an in-house space telescope. According to details released by NASA, they have awarded a contract to SpaceX to launch the upcoming SphereX telescope. The US space agency in their press release detailed that launching the SphereX will cost them about $98.8 million. This will include launch services that SpaceX will be providing and other mission-related costs. There aren't a lot of other details about the launch just released yet, but NASA has confirmed that the launch of the SphereX Space Telescope is scheduled for June of 2024, so there is a good two years before we can see SphereX being deployed. SpaceX will be using their infamous Falcon 9 reusable rockets to deliver the cargo into orbit. Falcon 9 has shown great utility as they are cheap to launch due to their reusability and have been shown to complete their missions reliably. The SphereX will be launching from the Space Launch Complex 4E at the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. The Vandenberg Air Force Base has been renamed to Vandenberg Space Force Base after it was handed over to the United States' newly formed corps, the Space Force. Vandenberg Air Base is known to be used by both military launches as well as civilian and commercial launches. NASA further clarified that NASA's launch services program at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida would manage the SpaceX launch and oversee the development. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California is responsible for the mission's overall project management, systems engineering, integration, and testing. So, what exactly is the SphereX Space Telescope, and what is so significant about it? SphereX stands for Spectrophotometer of the History of the Universe, Epoch of Reionization, and Isis Explorer. Yes, we know that name is a mouthful and it's a lot of information to go through, but don't worry, we will break down SphereX missions and purpose. SphereX is part of NASA's Medium Class Explorers program, MIDEX for short. This program, along with NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite or TESS program, and dozens of other similar programs, can be traced back to the early 90s. All of these come under the umbrella of NASA's Explorers program. This is a long-standing initiative by NASA for space exploration. This program is responsible for flights, spacecrafts and telescopes and so forth that collect data for physics, geophysics and astrophysics. Basically, this program oversees all of NASA's efforts to understand the universe around us and the laws that govern it. The MIDEX program was started by NASA in the mid-1990s. This was done to enable NASA to perform more flights. Previously, NASA was only sending relatively inexpensive and small missions into space to understand astrophysics and perform investigations. The MIDEX program gave NASA the opportunity to send more flights by developing customized medium-class launch vehicles that would deliver these payloads. Unfortunately, a special medium-sized launch vehicle was never developed, and MIDEX missions were instead flown on a Delta II rocket. These missions include space telescopes, constellations of satellites, and other scientific equipment that was deployed in space. Coming back to SphereX, to put it in very simple terms, it will be mapping the sky in the near-infrared spectrum. This spectrum is invisible to the naked eye and hence a regular optical telescope. According to the scientists at NASA, SphereX will be able to scan more than 300 million galaxies and 100 million stars in the Milky Way using this spectrophotometer. To put this into perspective, TESS, or the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which was also launched into space with the help of SpaceX back in April of 2018, can only observe objects that are just a few hundred light years away from us. TESS was also launched on a Falcon 9 rocket, so this isn't the first time SpaceX will be doing this. According to experts, SphereX will help scientists better understand how galaxies came to be and how they evolve over time. 
The program details that every six months, SphereX will use its 20cm telescope to create a map of the entire sky in 96 different color bands. The team at NASA believe that SphereX will help them gather data on things like the presence of water molecules and organics in distant star-forming regions of the universe. Studies like these will also prepare NASA to prepare targets for future studies with more powerful instruments NASA has plans to deploy, like the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope. SphereX will particularly be looking to gather data on something described as the Epoch of Ionization. This is a period in the early forming years of the universe when it first starts and galaxies were being formed. SphereX will also look further back at the very beginning in search of evidence for a theorized property of the Big Bang called inflation. These are pretty fundamental questions that SphereX will be aiming to find answers to. The total cost of SphereX will be in the range of $395 to $425 million. A big portion of that is just for the launch that SpaceX will facilitate. But so far, NASA has yet to begin the construction of this giant space telescope. The telescope will be made as a joint effort between NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab and engineers at Caltech. Talking about space telescopes and SpaceX, it is also important to mention that Elon Musk has his own plans to turn Starship into a giant space telescope as well. In a tweet, Elon tinkered with the idea of turning a Starship into a large space telescope. He said, yeah, that would be cool. Also, using ship itself as structure for a new giant telescope that's 10 times Hubble resolution. Was talking to Saul Perlmutter, who's awesome, and he suggested wanting to do that. Saul Perlmutter is a celebrated astrophysicist and currently working at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. He is also a Nobel Prize winner. He won the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics for providing the proof that our universe is expanding. According to Musk, the idea of turning a Starship spacecraft into a massive space telescope was first suggested to him by Saul Perlmutter himself. Given Starship's low production cost, 9-meter diameter, and the ability to deliver at least 100 metric tons of payload to low Earth orbit or LEO, it's not out of the question that Starships could be outfitted with massive telescopes and scientific instruments. These plans come in the backdrop of NASA's famous but aging Hubble Space Telescope pausing its scientific investigations after a software glitch that plagued the Space Telescope. NASA is desperately looking for ways to fix the telescope to get it back on schedule. While SpaceX gets ready to deliver yet another piece of scientific equipment, we can't help but wonder if SpaceX is preparing to start launching its own scientific equipment into space, since this could be another great commercial opportunity for them, since scientists from all over the world wait for months to have scientific equipment like the Hubble telescope run investigations for them. SpaceX could provide an invaluable service and accelerate our understanding of the universe at unprecedented speeds.